Hello there. In case you missed how to do this, I'm going to show you guys how to make a dichotomous key. So first of all, let's define what a dichotomous key is. A dichotomous key is a tool that allows the users to determine the identity of items in the natural world, such as trees, wildflowers, mammals, reptiles, rocks, and fish. Keys consist of a series of choices that lead the user to the correct name of a given item. Dichotomous means divided into two parts. Dichotomous keys can be extremely useful, particularly when trying to figure out things that you've never seen before. For instance, let's say you found a animal that you had never seen before and were having trouble finding pictures of it on the internet. A dichotomous key would be useful in helping you eliminate all the possibilities until you figured out exactly what that animal was. Dichotomous keys can be very, very useful. Let's pretend that you are out in the forest somewhere and you found a plant that you'd never seen before. Let's say that you had a little brother that ate some berries from this plant and suddenly you were wondering if they were poisonous or not but had no idea. A dichotomous key would be useful in helping to identify that plant to make sure that you knew exactly what it was. They're very, very useful and they're used in all kinds of scientific uh, applications. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make one. Perhaps you recognize these guys. Let's pretend you'd never seen them before, yet you wanted to figure out their names. So to do this activity, I'm going to go ahead and give them names first, and then I will make the key, and then I'll show you how the key works in the situation if you had never seen one before. So we have Kyle, Larry, Tim, Mark, Phil, Ted, Stuart, and Dave. Now let's make a key to identify them. Okay, so the first thing we do is we try to find a way to divide the group into half or as close to half as possible. Sometimes it's hard to make them exactly half. The more you make them into halves, the less, the smaller your key will actually be. So I'm going to start with something very simple. If you look at the minions here, you'll notice that some have one eye and some have two. So the first thing we're going to write down is one A and one B. I'm going to write one eye, and then I'm going to write not one eye. Now I know you could probably write two eyes. But what if you had some with three eyes or four eyes? So it's better to do exact opposites. So I did one eye and not one eye. So I'm just going to focus on the ones with one eye right now. I'm going to write go to, two, and then I'm only going to look at the ones that have one eye, which would be Kyle and Phil. So looking at Kyle and Phil, how could I tell them apart? Well, I noticed that one is smiling, so I'll write that down. And then I'll do the opposite, not smiling. Okay, so you'll notice that Kyle is smiling. So I'm going to go ahead and write Kyle's name right here. And I'm going to underline it. So I just keyed out Kyle. And not smiling is Phil. So I just keyed out Phil. Now I have six minions left. So what I'm going to do now is focus on the ones that do not have one eye. So I'll go back up to number 1B and I'll write go, go to 3. Now I'll go down to 3 and write A and B and I will look at the other 6. So the first thing I will notice is some of them are looking right at me and some of them are kind of looking away. So I'm going to write down looking at me. and not looking at me. Now you'll notice that there are three of them, Larry, Mark, and Ted, that are all looking at me. So I know I need another step. So I'm gonna go ahead here, and I'm gonna write go to four. I will need another couple of choices here. 
So on number four, I'm only looking at the ones looking at me, and I notice that one of them has his left hand up, Larry. So I'm going to write left hand up, and then I'll write not left hand up. Now the only one with its left hand up is Larry. So I'll go ahead and write Larry here and underline it and cross out Larry. That leaves me with Mark and Ted. So if I look at Mark and Ted, I need another selection. So I'm going to write go to five. And I notice that Ted has spiked hair, but Mark has kind of flat hair. So I'm going to write down spiked hair and not spiked hair. So for spiked hair, this is Ted. So I'll go ahead and underline Ted and cross him off. Then the one that's not spiked is Mark. So I'll write down Mark and cross him off. That leaves me with three minions. So I need to go back up and look at the ones that are not looking at me. And I'm going to write up here, go to six. So six A and B, I look at Tim, Stuart, and Dave. And I notice that Dave's on a rocket. So I'm going to write, writing a rocket. And that's Dave. So Dave is keyed out. And then I'll put not writing a rocket. Now I have two left, so I need one more choice. So I'm going to write go to seven. And then I have Tim and Stuart left. I notice that Tim is writing, so I'm going to write down writing and not writing. Tim is writing, so I'll write him down, and Stuart is not. I have now created a simple dichotomous key for these eight minions. Okay, so we're not quite done. The last thing we're going to do is key out each one of the individuals using our key. So let me show you how we do this. The first thing we do is look at Kyle. And let's start at the top of the key. Kyle, you have to choose 1A or 1B. Kyle has one eye, so we're going to use 1A. It says go to 2. If we go to two, it says smiling or not smiling. You'll see that Kyle is smiling. So Kyle is keyed out 1A, 2A, and Kyle has been keyed out. Now let's key out Larry. Larry is not 1I, so that'll be 1B. Go to 3. 3, looking at me. Larry is looking at me, so that'll be 3A. Go to 4. Four, left hand up. There he is, Larry, 4A. Tim is not one eye, so that'll be 1B, comma, go to 3. He is not looking at me, so that'll be 3B, comma, go to 6. 6 says, writing a rocket or not writing a rocket. So Tim is not writing a rocket, so he'll be 6B, Go to seven, comma, and then it says he's writing, and so he will be seven A. Mark has two eyes, so that'll be one B, comma, go to three. He is looking at me, so that'll be three A. So now we go to four. Left hand is not up, so that'll be four B, comma, go to five does not have spiked hair, so that will be 5B. I'm a little bit out of space there. All right, let's go to Phil. Phil has one eye, so that is 1A, comma, go to two. He is not smiling, so that is 2B. And Phil is keyed out. Ted, let's look at Ted. Ted has two eyes, so that'll be 1B, comma, go to three. He is looking at me, so that'll be 3A, comma, go to 4. His left hand is not up, so that'll be 4B, comma, go to 5. 5A says spiked hair, 
and there's Ted. Stuart has two eyes, so that'll be 1B, comma, go to 3. He is not looking at me, so that'll be 3B, go to 6. He is not riding on a rocket, so that'll be 6B, comma, go to 7. And he is not riding, so that'll be 7B. And lastly, we have Dave. Dave has two eyes, so that'll be 1B, comma, go to 3. He is not looking at me, so that'll be 3B, comma, go to 6. He is riding a rocket, so that'll be 6A, and there is Dave. I have now keyed out all of the minions. Okay, so let me give you one last way that this is used. So let's say this little minion right here you've never seen before in your entire life, and you're wondering what is its name. So we get our dichotomous key, and we start out at the very top, and we make a decision. 1A says, does he have one eye or not one eye? So as you can see, he has not one eye, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And we're going to go to 3. 3 says, looking at me or B, not looking at me. Well, he is not looking directly at me, so we're going to choose 3B. It says, go to six. So we go down to six, and our choices are A, riding a rocket, or B, not riding a rocket. He is clearly not riding a, riding a rocket, so we'll go ahead and choose 6B, which says, go to seven. Seven says, A, he's riding something, or B, he's not riding something. He is not writing something, so as you can see here on the bottom, his name is Stuart. And we just used a dichotomous key to key out something that perhaps we had never seen before. And that is how we use dichotomous keys.